Hi everyone, this will be your video on solving quadratic equations, most specifically using our factoring technique. So to do a quadratic equation and to solve it by factoring, we need this idea of a zero product property. So a zero product property occurs when you have multiplication, which lets us know because we see the word product, so we have multiplication. And multiplication only, this is the only time this product property works is with multiplication. So it works when you have multiplication that equals zero, okay? So the name of this property gives you an idea of when you're going to be using it. You're going to be equaling a zero when you're multiplying. Okay, so must equal zero. When this happens, this means that any factor that's being multiplied to get this fact, uh, product of zero, each and every one of these has an opportunity to equal zero. So you would break it up and you would take your first factor equal zero, second equal zero. If you have a third, you set that equal to zero. So here's a quick little example that's already written out for you. We have two factors here. We have x times x minus two. So x is our first factor. Think of them like groups, right? This is just, he's in a group by himself, so we're just gonna take that group set it equal to zero. We have our second factor, second group. So we have x plus two, we have that, and we set it equal to zero. We now have two smaller equations that we solve separately. Our first one, we really have nothing to do here. Our second one over here, we just have to subtract two, and you solve those equations separately. Both of them are your answers. So let's do an example. <clears throat> so here we go, we have a quadratic equation here, we know it's quadratic because the highest degree is 2, and it's asking us to solve. Now, if you think back to your algebra skills, you're always told to isolate your x. Now, there's no way to do that with quadratics, that's why we need to factor. So we need to factor. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be thinking about values that multiply to c and add to b. Okay, so our c is negative 18 and our b is negative 7. So some factors of negative 18, first off I'm thinking of 2 and 9, right? So if I look at <clears throat> all of the factors, we have 1 and 18, 3 and, oops, forgot the 2, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. Now this is a negative 18, so I know that my Factors need to be opposite signs. If you do have any questions about factoring, there's a video on that. You can also ask for help. This video is more on how to solve the equation, not factor. So we will be choosing 2 and 9. We'll be choosing a negative 9 plus 2 because that will give us that negative 7 that we need. So when we break up this quadratic equation, or the quadratic expression on the left-hand side, it's going to become x minus 9 times x plus 2 because those were the two factors that we decided and we still have our equal 0. If you need help deciding if this is your right factorization, foil it and see if you get where you started. So now let's actually apply our product property that we learned today. So we're going to separate these into two smaller equations. We have our first group and then we have our second group. Let's do the first group. So we're going to have x minus 9 equals 0. We're taking each group and setting them equal to 0. There's our x plus 2 equal to 0. So now we solve them separately. Over here, we just have to add 9. So we have x equal 9. And over here, we just have to subtract 2. And we have x equal negative 2. Put a big old circle, star, highlight it, do anything you need to do, but that is your answer. And this problem is done.